Hello and welcome to Ian's Bricks and today I've got a review of this uh, Lego Star Wars magazine that I find in my uh, local Tesco store here in the UK. Um, this is the uh, August 12th to September 15th 2020 uh, issue. Uh, it's issue 62. Uh, it cost £5.99 in the UK. Um, why I got it was because this particular issue, as you can see, has got two free gifts. Um, quite often with the Star Wars magazines is you'll only get one uh, one um, build, one one uh, sort of Lego thing to build, and it tends to be without minifigures. You, you don't usually get minifigures with these, but this one has got a Stormtrooper. It looks like fairly standard Stormtrooper, but uh, still $5.99 for a Stormtrooper in this, probably not particularly bad value. Obviously the, the comic is designed at uh, younger people than, than myself, certainly, um, but uh, what I'll do is I'll... Uh, fill these items and give you a quick flick through uh, the magazine as well to show you what's inside. So here we have the two foil bags, uh, one with the Stormtrooper in and one with the uh, mini build Star Destroyer. Uh, just show you the backs of the bags. Uh, interestingly the Stormtrooper has a resealable bag and the uh, and the Star Destroyer doesn't so I'm going to have to put that one open. Uh, but if we just have a look at the, um, the Stormtrooper first of all uh, so it's a, a six plus set. Um, the item number, they normally appear on the back here. Yeah, they're just down here. Look, 912062 is the, is the number. So let's get this open and see, see what it looks like inside. I can normally get these open without destroying them, which is quite nice. A little bit sticky, as you can see. A bit of a pain to open. There we go. And of course, when I tip them out, they're all probably going to stick to the, the sticky part of the packet. But I think that's it. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's everything out of there. So let's leave the bag up there. So, what do we have? Let's pop them together and see what it looks like. So just a standard uh, standard head. I don't think there's a head on the other side. No, there isn't. And we get the helmet. And the gun just here. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it is a stormtrooper. It is what it is. Um, I think it's probably a fairly standard design. If, if anybody wants to sort of tell me, I can see two different leg printed on the leg there, so whether that's standard, I have, I have to say I've got a lot of stormtroopers, so I'm not quite sure whether or not this is a, a sort of a standard standard mould or a standard thing that I've got here, or whether it's anything special, probably not nothing special, but uh, yeah, not bad, minifigures are always great. So, let's now get into this storm, sorry, star destroyer even. Cut the bag open so most of it can come out. Apparently, I've already had a look, and this has got 35 pieces. Okay, well, I'm not so sure there's 35 there, but we'll see. Okay, and um, to build these, you don't actually get any instructions inside, um, but what you do do is you get a link on the magazine to. Um, uh, to build with with instructions to a website, and you need to uh, go onto the website, which I'll give you a link below, and the item number is nine one one eight four two. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description, and uh, what I'll do now is I'll build this to see uh, what it looks like. So here we have the completed item. It's a neat little build. Uh, there are no extra pieces, by the way, in the pack at all. Uh, I'll just show you the underside of how that sort of goes together. It's sort of a layered build. Um, it's okay. I don't know whether they've done anything similar before Lego, but it's uh, it's quite a nice little mini scale thing. Um, and there were surprisingly 35 pieces there, all together, quite and quite an easy build as well. So obviously fairly standard magazine front, uh, advertising the the Stormtrooper and the additional uh, pack as well. Uh, obviously I've removed those now and built those. Uh, inside you uh, 
little bit of story contents page there it tells you all about the toy and how to uh, how to access the the website to uh, to actually build the other toy that is uh, with the set and there's a fairly decent um, uh, comic strip here um, all sort of based on Lego Star Wars it looks pretty good I haven't actually read this yet so uh, as I say it is designed for children so probably not my my type of thing but there's quite a few characters in there and then as with most of these comics you start to get puzzles uh, that's a uh, spot the difference more of the comic actually quite a lot of that this time and you tend to find that they do have uh, sort of sets in the in here that you can or have been able to buy in the past yes yeah, so there's a fairly decent amount of, of stuff there a bit more comic you get this sort of just the middle bit yeah we get some kind of poster there uh, dream team so Han Solo and uh, Chewbacca there and then in the middle you get a, a Vader Vader poster um, some colouring in puzzles more puzzles um, yeah I'm sort of flicking through this as a spot the difference thing more more comic strips there explains all about the Imperial Stormtrooper how uh, how the minifigures sort of made and what things are made of it's all quite interesting stuff and then you have the thing at the at the end here it's always interesting to see what you get next uh, month there's a resistance x-wing I have to say I mean let me just sort of zoom in on that a little bit uh, it's not uh, not particularly exciting to me that build I think unless you get minifigures with these uh, comics I probably won't continue to get them but uh, anyway so that's what you get next month and then at the end you get just a couple of things to sort of cut out so um, all in all it's a it's a not a bad magazine uh, I was more drawn by the um, by the, the freebies I like my freebies uh, Stormtroopers fine it's always nice to get a minifigure with any of these particular packs so they particularly the Star Wars ones tend not to have them um, and and the uh, and the Star Destroyer as well. So I think all in all, uh, not bad. Worth five pound ninety nine. Probably only just. I mean, the the minifigure and this together probably aren't worth that. But uh, it's it's still quite a nice little uh, quite a nice little thing. Anyway, tell me what you think. Um, are you able to get these where you live? If not, let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, these are quite readily available here in the UK. Most supermarkets and things have them. Um, and there are different ones as well. There's city ones, there's hidden side. I think they're discontinuing that. There's Batman ones. So, so there's quite a few themes as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching.